we are playing a style that requires a different approach. And therefore, writing music, either in musical notation or in tabs, becomes just a guideline to what you will play. Right? But it does not make you play the thing right away. It means even if you have the tab of, or something written, suppose I put in perfect musical notation, I write this. And then I write that, and I, I give you the tab of the paper. What does it mean? It doesn't mean one thing, because you cannot play that unless you know how to play it. So writing here is totally irrelevant, the wrong approach. And I give some tabs, in fact, I said there are schools here for every student, the tabs are for free on any topic they need for their lessons, right? So that, but tabs are, again, just a guideline, and by the way, much better than musical notation, because your question was that why we did exclude musical traditional notation from this program, from our CFG study program, the Baccalaureus of Style, and, and why this TAPS predominance? Well, because the TAPS is better in many things than the traditional notation, but both are just guidelines, like a cost. It's just not, it's not true that it will make you play, and this is a very big misunderstanding that generally people now they think that they think if I have the tab I can learn it. So that very, of course that's very super you can get an idea but that's very superficial approach. Right? That's not what we are doing to understand things properly. Therefore or for any other technique which is a flamenco technique let's say if you are supposed to to play Play these things unless you know how to play it. Reading the, that is useless. So writing music properly and on this and writing, taking notes, or etc. That's just kindergarten thing and it's a guideline. Will not make you play it right. What make you play it right is that, is that you learn to play the piece. Right? When I see you in a Skype and we play there, the stuff, and I explain you how to do it and I check you are doing it right, there you can learn it. Not by reading a piece of paper will not make you play it either traditional notation or tabs, right? And also because we are not a, a narrow-minded persons here that don't want to exclude the the tabs because in my time, you, you know, 20 years ago, if you said tabs, people will most of the educated players will say, "You, what's that? You don't have notation properly." So that was awkward. But in fact, to read music. It will take you so much time, three or four years, to, to learn to read properly in notation. And then that doesn't mean one thing regarding what you want to play here. So our approach is to play first and understand later. Right? And then other, other uh, ways, which I see most of the time, is first try to read it yourself and then be confused forever because the nuances and the stuff, unless you play it, how you, it will be useless to have that partiture or that thing. And, well, another is that in the school everyone can have a, a tab, and in fact, they have the tabs of the things. But the tab is very superficial, and you playing, that's the truth. That's what we need to, to check and verify you are doing right. And therefore, no traditional notation or tab will make me play well. But will make me plays that I know how to play, and then I use it. Why? Because I play many things, and then sometimes friends come and say, "Do you remember this thing what we did four years ago?" Oh, wow! I don't remember. Let me see. And then we check there the notes, either in tabs or notation, anything you have. And this is just a guideline to remember you a bit of the thing, but not that that will make you play or that you need that to play. Because actually, to play, you need only to play. That's what it is. Right? It's like because theory, same thing with the theory with the harmony, chords and all that. I prefer to give that gradually as far as you need it. And also make you experience guitar and experience you playing first. And then the understanding comes automatically. But the other way around is not true. Because I have people who know theory and cannot apply it. Like just one guy came 
couple of weeks ago and showed me a very nice thread thesis making a, a like a thesis on this uh, thing music. Um, he is making a big book book about scale fingerings, right? It's, it's a very interesting thing, and then he came out with 1,000 fingerings or around 1,000. I said, wow, my god, this is very, very great material on that, right? It's a dictionary, something like that. Or a research about it. But then I said, okay, now tell me how many of these, can you play with even three of these fingerings? Play me something. Then, then he said, no, that I cannot do. So that's what I don't want <laughs> you to, to be doing, right? Because people sometimes accumulate more knowledge than what they need for the thing, right? What you need for playing, is playing, it's not tabs, paper, or writing, or anything visual, it's also not there, you need to experience the sound. Of course, we use also visual, because in the video, in the lesson, I see how you are playing, I check what you do, etc. And you see how it works, but just by the angle, you need to play, and many specific nuances, which even if we write it properly, nobody will be able to read it. So, it's, it's just a waste of time. And in fact, Paco de Lucia himself did not advise me that approach to teach, but he said also tabs or any other notation may be there secondarily just as a very uh, as, a, as, a note, as a remember remembering what is there on me, just for the sake of not forgetting the material or for a guide, general guideline, but very general, N not real, not the real thing or be based on that, no. And that's the difference between what we do and what the others do. Because nowadays everyone says, give me the tab, give me the tab. And well, yeah, the tab is here, but now what? Are you playing it with that? <laughs> no, because playing requires you to play. That's the difference between knowing what to practice and how to, to, to practice or how to learn and what to learn. What to learn is the tab is that, but that now how you are playing that. Because interpretation also, you play, I play, other people play. And it would be three different or ten different ways to play the same thing, even if they are properly played all ten. So what does become there? There is only one writer, not even that. What's the the point of reference to know if what I am playing is right or not? That's what you need to check. Not read music. Read music will take you so much wasting time. If you what you want is to play, if you become uh, or or trying to to do the career of musicology or something, then that's another thing. Because I do have friends, very cultural people like Rainer Rainer and other scholars who are very uh, erudite people, erudite people on the musical field. And then they are also taking some notes with the purpose of leaving this for history, just like Beethoven or Mozart will be remembered because of some written things as well, not just for that, for their genius of course, but this is one thing means to remember. And that, then that is another project that they are doing gradually, writing also things just for, for the data. But the data is not you playing. This is what you have need to understand, that's my answer for your question, I hope it satisfies you. And if you have any other question, please send it to me and I will answer, I'm sure, very gladly. Thank you. And I'll see you next time.